Hello. A very good morning to all the Nabar aspirants of 2025. So today is 1st of December and I think this is the right time that you have entered into the priority zone. Since syllabus talks a lot, so you must prioritize your preparation, right? In this last 20 days of your NABAT examination. So you cannot do, understand one thing that you cannot do each and everything in this 20 days. Now you have to do the most important areas. As you know that in this NABAT examination, the in phase one, the selection ratio is quite wide, right? It is quite wide. It is in the ratio of 1 is to 25. So if you do the priority topics also very seriously, you will get a call for the phase 2. And once you've got a call for the phase 2, let's see what can be done in those 35 days. Now last day also the EPF examination are over. Many people have started their preparation. So for such type of student or those who are revising, those who are working, those who cannot devote a lot of time, they are feeling intense pressure that I cannot do so many things. For such type of aspirants, this is the priority list that you have to complete in this 20 days. And very easily, if you stick onto this, you can complete all the things within four to seven days. After four to seven days, you can give a number of tests. As you know that from 5th of this month, we are going to start with our full length test. We have almost completed 35 sectional tests. And right now we are going to start with the full length test. And after five, every day it will be full length test so that we can get you into that competitive zone, get you into that competitive spirit so that daily solving the FLTs will take you to the best result, whatever it can be. Now, what I'm saying is that in this priority list, what you have to do first, start with seed science. Those who have not started, those who are starting, those who are working, you have intense pressure for such type of candidates. I'm saying that prioritize your area of preparation like this. For ARD, I'm talking about similar, I will be talking about ESI also. Seed science, you have to prepare seed, very clear. Not everything, the seed tax, type of seed tax, like breeder seed is there, nucleus seed is there, right? Certified seed is there, foundation seed is there. What are their different types of tax? Every year get a question from that. Then seed, physical and genetic purity, what are the percentages? And what are the seed treatment terminologies, right? There are multiple terminologies related to seed dormancy, right? That you should know. There are multiple terminologies related to seed treatment, right? That you should know that how we are doing this, what are the chemicals we are using. Mainly the terminologies you have to remember. They ask the terminologies from here, the seed treatment part, right? That you have to remember. Now coming on to the next segment, so seed science is this much, you have to stick on to this much. It will hardly take one hour, it will hardly take one hour to do. Just refer the master notes, I think most of you have the master notes of the clarity for sure. So refer the master notes to filter out the thing, that is more than enough. Now coming on to next part that you can focus upon is classification of field rocks. As you know, the ABC rocks, the formula that I have given, ABC rocks, you need to remember this formula, ABC rocks. It, it means the different types of classification, right? Uh, uh, related to ontogenic classification, botanic classification, like CO2 classification, uh, classification based on the pollination. So this you have to remember in the uh, area of the classification field cross because many times they ask this based on the climate they will be asking you right based on the temperature conditions they will be asking you based on the different agronomic classification they can be asking you so their uh, main heading and the example that you need to remember from here that is very important the classification of field crops see i'm not giving everything i'm giving only thing which is high probability of asking so that you can at least clear the cutoff the next is agroclimatic zone. See here, just remember the numbers of agroclimatic zone by different institution and study the agroclimatic zone with the help of map of the India that in which area, which agroclimatic zone is there and which crop can be grown, right? Which can be grown. Say in Nagpur region, it can, it is famous for oranges, all right? Uh, similarly, if you come to hilly regions, it is uh, famous for your tea cultivation. So like that with the help of map, if you remember, in this way only they are asking presently the question. Organic farming, just try to remember the current data that how much organic farming is there under PKVI scheme, right? What is the percentage of organic farming in India with respect to the world? 
then you can remember the rankings of the India with respect to the organic farming. So they asked this type of this year, the since new unified logo has also been launched. So they will be asking with that, uh, asking the question from that and the conversion period of the inorganic to organic that they will be asking from the organic farming. Dry land agriculture, only the three definition of dry land agriculture based on the precipitation 750 mm is the benchmark for that. Just try to remember that much on the. Then soil science, physical and biological classification of soil, as I have taught you, try to go through that. Then the types of soil found in India, the nutrient classification, major, minor, primary, secondary, uh, beneficial, all the nutrient and the name disease associated with that, that I have taught in the classes. Next is the irrigation. Irrigation, just remember the terms and terminologies like duty of water, delta of water, these terminologies you should know. Then the drip and the sprinkler, just read drip and the sprinkler irrigation, what is their coverage in area, what are its component, crop water requirement of the major crop like paddy, sugar cane, right? And some crops which do not require or requires very less water like ragi. In this, you try to remember two schemes are important in this irrigation chapter. The PM Kusum, you have to study in detail all the component A, B, C and PM, K, O, S, Y, whatever the updation has taken place in recent past that you have to remember from this particular chapter. Farm engineering is the most easiest chapter if you study in a very systematic manner. Last day, we have released in our telegram the sectoral paper of NABAD, right? In relation to farm mechanization. Go through that. 100% two question is coming from that. 100% two question is coming from that. Apart from that, just make a table. Just make a table. Write the name of tool, say MB Plow, right? Uh, happy Seeder. And this side, what is their use? Right, and it is used in as primary tillage implement or it is a secondary tillage implement. Just write it down this side. So this only you have to do. All the question will be coming from this only as per the past trend. And one more, now they are asking the question from the storage structure, like traditional storage structure, modern storage structure, Morai type, Bukhari type. What are their uh, use and uh, what is their capacity that you have to remember? Horticulture you have to do, what you have to do in horticulture you have to remember is the plantation crops only, the coconut, tea, coffee, rubber, right, all this and the terminologies like what is skiffing, right, uh, roasting, what is roasting in coffee. So this type of simple, simple terms you have to remember uh, in relation to the plantation crop, I think hardly 10 pages notes is there, right? Hardly 10 pages notes is there from protein also not. I think 5 to 6 pages note is there from the plantation crops of uh, uh, clarity. So you can refer that only. Plus you can also add on a few terminologies related to the uh, gardening. Gardening in the main, I sense the basics of the horticulture like nursery system, training, types of pruning, their time period. Again, it's a five to six pages notes in the part one of horticulture of clarity for sure that you have to refer. Then animal husbandry, just go through the utility breeds, right? The tabular chart I have given for the cattle, buffalo, sheep and the terminologies associated with their life cycle. That what is the male of this call? What is the female of this call? What is the gestation period of this particular breed? Uh, then you have to go through the different terminologies and list I have given and I have very clearly I have uh, right uh, uh, taught everything related in relation to this poultry I have taught you entire thing starting from the egg right till again the egg is formed the entire cycle has been explained with all the terminology the, the YouTube also have put on one video that is very 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 important fisheries just fishing techniques the RAS bioflock has become very important nowadays terminologies associated with the fish classification that you must know the basic classification of fish and then the uh, terminology is associated with the breeding, right? Breeding, migration of the fishes are very, 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 very important. What is Potadromus fishes, right? You must know, right? The current ranking of India in relation to the fish, right? Fish harvesting and important byproducts, hardly three, four important byproducts are there and their preservation, the cold preservation and the hot preservation. Then forestry, only terms and terminology is associated with the uh, forestry, like polarity. Right. If you solve only the test of clarity of forestry, that is more than more than enough for forestry and agroforestry. You don't need to read the notes also. If you just solve the forestry again, agriculture extinction only the types of uh, classification of the extinction methods. Right. If you again solve the clarity for sure test of extinction, no need to read notes at all. Rural development they stick on to the current part. So try to read M O R D, M O P R I, and M O A Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, 
all the schemes one by one from the ministry wise scheme section of the portal so in this way these are the priority list the most 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 important if you just cover this it will hardly take hardly take three to four days from the master notes and then after this jump onto the test start giving sectional test start giving four line test if you will just keep on giving the test 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 in this 15 days you will be completely in that competitive spirit your mind will work like that and you will perform to the maximum to the optimum level in the examination so with this i will just start just hit the areas what i have told over here it will help you the maximum in the examination that's all my dear friends bye bye take care tomorrow i will be coming with the most important topics of the esi